Hi, this is Mrs. Shorp with the Social Studies Department. And today we're gonna to be sharing with you some of the various course offerings that we have for you in the Social Studies Department. Starting in ninth grade, you have the option of taking one of two Global 9 classes. The first is Global History and Geography 1, which is the first year of a two-year sequence for Global History and Geography. It starts with Neolithic period, or when people learned to farm, all the way up to 1750, right around the time of the French Revolution. We will dive into many major events and ideas, human interactions with their geography, and we will also begin to build on some of those basic skills like analysis, critical thinking, and comparing and contrasting, and these will carry you through all through the next four years of your history courses. The other option is to take pre-AP world history, and this is actually the first year of the advanced placement history sequence where you will, in 10th grade, continue your studies and take an AP examination for credit. It is very intensive and fast-paced, but you will also get a deeper understanding of some of the intricacies and interconnectedness with all of the various world histor historical events. For those who opt for the Global History and Geography 1 sequence, they can continue their sequence with Global History and Geography 2, which covers 1750 all the way up through the present. And students will examine worldwide political revolutions, industrialization, the various world wars, and you will work on some of those critical thinking skills and analytical skills, as well as writing skills through the New York Global History Framework. And your skills will be assessed at the end of the year with the Regents exam in uh, June. Students who are taking AP will continue their sequence with AP World History. And this picks up where you left off in ninth grade, 1750 all the way up to the present. Just like in ninth grade, you will continue with those analytical thinking skills. There is a heavy emphasis on reading and writing and independent study, as well as research projects. And the students that complete this sequence, in addition to taking the Global History Framework Regents exam in June, are also expected to take the AP World History College Board examination in May. United States History and Government in 11th grade is a survey course or a snapshot of all of the American history from early colonial period up to present day. The course goes through various constitutional principles and how all of the history influences us today. This also culminates in a, world, a US history government regents examination, which is comparable to the 10th grade regents exam that you took last year. For students who want to challenge themselves a little bit further and have a deeper understanding of United States history, AP US history is an option. It is a very challenging course at college level with a heavy emphasis on literacy and writing skills, and you will get into more heavy analytical examination of American history from 1492 up to present. There is some independent work to be done over the summer, and just like in 11th grade for the Regents sequence, you are expected to take the Regents exam in June and the AP US History examination in May. Senior, there are many options for you. One of the pathways that you can take is to do um, participation in government and economics as both half year courses for a more traditional route. Participation in government is an emphasis on policy making and how we as citizens contribute to our government every single day. And also there's a heavy emphasis on current events and what we can do to shape our government around us. Instead of a final examination or a regents exam, students are expected to complete a community service project that will count as their final exam. The other half of the year comprises of economics, which examines free market principles and how the United States um, works globally and interdependently with other countries to have a sound economic system. 
We will also investigate your role as workers and investors to have a greater understanding of how we participate in our economic surroundings. There is an examination that is a school exam and there is no Regents exam. For students who wish to complete an AP course, they may take AP Macroeconomics. This is in lieu of the two half-year courses and as a year-long course will encompass both macroeconomic principles and also will fulfill their government requirements. Students are to expect a college-level economic course looking at monetary and fiscal policy, economic growth, and various performance measurements. Students are required to take the college examination in AP Macroeconomics in May. For students who don't wish to take either of those options, there's an exciting new course that they can take that will be offered for the first time next year. Principles in Macroeconomics is a course that will be taught in conjunction with SUNY Adirondack and students will be able to fulfill um, college level university uh, credit upon successful completion of this course. Like AP Macroeconomics, this is a year-long course and it satisfies both PIG and economic requirements. Similarly, but another route that you can take, which is very exciting, is the UHS Public Policy in Modern America course. This is a full year course that is taught in conjunction with SUNY Albany. It is a public policy class where you can earn three college credits focusing on contemporary political issues and the creation of government policy. Upon successful completion of this course, students will be eligible for three college credits. New next year will be a 12th grade offering for our Saratoga Pathways Academy or our SPA program. The 12th graders who participate in the SPA program will be working with interdisciplinary project-based environment in the project-based learning rooms and the maker space. They will work on real world problems and collaboration. We are very excited to offer this for the first time. On to our electives. There are so many electives that you can take to enrich your social studies programs here at Saratoga Springs High School. One of the options is to take Saratoga local history. You'll dive into the early foundations of our community. There'll be guest speakers. You'll see local resources, walking tours, health, history, and horses. That's our motto. For those who are interested in learning more about war and diplomacy and how these major world events unfold, World War and Diplomacy 1 and 2 are offered as two separate semester long courses. Studies warfare, concentration of American conflicts, and how we as a country have gotten involved and how we have gotten out of various wars like the French and Indian War, the American Revolution, the Civil War. You'll study tactics, technology, leadership. There's never a shortage of wars to discuss. Other electives that you can participate in are both psychology and AP psychology. Don't be fooled, these are two separate courses. So if you've taken psychology, you can take AP psychology as well. Psychology is a half year course which introduces students to the basic study of human behavior and our mental functions. You'll get into some issues like ethics and how um, to design experiments. You will look at case studies, simulations, and contemporary journals. AP Psychology, however, is a full year course where you will dive much more deeply into the analytical approach into the field of psychology. There's a heavy emphasis on science and biology with an understanding of how our brains and mental processes influence our behavior. Like other AP courses, the AP Psychology course does expect students to participate in the uh, AP Psychology exam at the end of the year in May. For those of you who really liked Ancient Civilizations in ninth grade, Ancient Civilizations is a half year elective course where you get to talk about things like ancient Sumer, Egypt, Greece, Rome. You'll learn about the various um, social structures, the building and planning, architecture, how these uh, various civilizations interacted with one another. Very exciting. 
Sociology is a half year course that allows students to examine human interactions and societal influences. You'll look at in, uh, interesting topics like parenting, childing, relationships, media, cultural comparisons, the family, crime. You'll participate in field trips, journals, collaborative projects, and we will also look at various subfields of sociology. AP European History is a full year elective college level course where you will look at the European history and world history from a European lens a little bit from 1450 to the present. You will look at cultural developments that have shaped European continent all the way up to present day problems. UHS Human Geography is another course that we'll be offering for the first time with, uh, in conjunction with SUNY Albany. It is an elective and it is a full year course where students will explain how geography shapes the world around them. How do people adapt to their environment? How do they change their environment around them? How does this influence political, social, and economic systems? You are eligible for three college credits from SUNY Albany upon successful completion of this course. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I hope that this gave you some ideas and some um, questions that you can come to any of the social studies teachers, and we'll be happy to give you some guidance on the courses that you can take next year. See you soon. <laughs>
we do an interest profiler test to help you find the best career fit for you. Then we move on to our college search. During this unit, you're going to be able to research different colleges. You'll also be able to see how much it would cost you to attend those colleges you're interested in. We end the first part of the year by doing success skills. These are going to include interviewing, preparing a resume, preparing a cover letter, and just giving you tips on how to best prepare those things. During the second half of the course, so the second half of the year, we uh, focus on financial literacy. So we will help you to develop a budget, um, teach you how to manage credit wisely. We'll also teach you how to make investments and research investments. So in the second half of the year, we play the stock market game. Hi, I'm Mr. McGuigan, and this is Mr. Quartermanch. We teach the two levels of law class here at Saratoga High School. It's kind of unique to have two different levels of a law class uh, being taught in a high school. We have business, consumer, and personal law, uh, and also a college level business law class. In business, consumer, and personal law, we take a look at our court systems, our constitution, civil law, criminal law, and contracts over the course of a full year. Um, our classes are based on a modular assessment where we take a look at time management skills in completing our assignments and time. Now a lot of the topics may be similar between the two classes, but the college business law area focuses on truly business. We look at how criminal law, civil law, contracts, insurance, different things like that affect the businesses in the area. We use local lawyers and judges to help us out with the class. Uh, the one big difference is in the college business law, you do grad graduate the class with three college credits that can be used really in most colleges and a lot of business programs do require business law in their program so you can knock off that, that requirement right off the bat by taking the class here. I teach both regular accounting and college accounting. The regular accounting class incorporates basic accounting concepts including the whole accounting cycle. We also take a look at payroll and how to account for payroll. One of the great things about taking accounting is you're also going to work with an accounting software called QuickBooks. QuickBooks is a software that many small businesses use, so you have the opportunity to do that, which is great. A lot of people put that on their resume, that they have experience with QuickBooks, and that looks great out in the business world. I also teach college accounting. College accounting is a full year class, and you get four credits through SUNY Adirondack. We also go through the whole accounting cycle, but we go into things a little bit more in depth. We look at concepts such as depreciation, fixed assets, inventory, so you're able to learn how to calculate that. And if you plan on going to major in business to any college, you will have to take an accounting class. So it's best to get that accounting, the accounting credits here through the high school. I'd like to talk to you guys about two other classes that we offer. We offer digital communications and sports marketing. These are both half year courses or semester long courses that you guys can take. In digital communications, we take a look at our presentation skills and work on our time management, practicing, and script writing in a nice, safe environment and hopefully in a fun environment that allows you to excel in the business world. In sports marketing, this is open up to seniors, your senior year, uh, where we take a look at the sports industry and the business aspects. We take a look at marketing, we took at branding, licensing, and our final project is actually creating your own sports franchise. What's it like to be a financial planner, an accountant, a graphic artist, or a physical therapist? CEIP allows you to join the class and explore these careers and many others before going off to college or pursuing a career. CEIP is a half year course. There's a classroom component as well as the internship component. You will have to attend 21 classes and the internship piece includes 54 hours. Um, when you're not in class, that gives you the opportunity to go to your internship. So CEIP is a unique experience that we have here at Saratoga High School. Not many schools offer it to the degree that we do. It is a competitive program available only to seniors. We start the process for picking which students will be in the program in March. That'll start out with an interview, an application process, and then we'll let you know which students have been uh, accepted into the program. From that point forward, you work with your guidance counselor in setting up your schedule to make sure that CEIP fits for you and it's an opportunity that you'll be able to take advantage of. Ms. Tanner Klingenberg, I'm a senior here at Saratoga Springs High School and also a student in the CEIP program. In the CEIP program, I focus in the medical field and being in this has given me the ability to see such a wide array of such a large field. This has given me the ability to look at where I want to focus and where I want to aim for the rest of my life. 
Additionally, the class has given me a lot of guidance in just overall career advice and resume building and anything that can portray to my later life. So to wrap things up, we hope you consider taking some classes in the business department. It doesn't really matter if you're a business student or looking towards going to business in the future. We feel our classes give you a nice practical skill set that can translate across all different pathways, no matter which one that you choose. We are a project-based learning center, so a lot of our classes are very interactive. We bring in a lot of people from the community to help with the classes and give you some first-hand experience in a lot of the skills that we're going to be teaching. If you have any questions, uh, please stop up and see us. We're in the upper level of the D-Wing. Our office is room D220. Feel free to stop by anytime and ask any questions. Hello, kids. Uh, today we're going to be talking about spa. It's great having connected classes. What we do in English really applies to what we do in global and vice versa. You're, it's not just like test material, it's like what you're interested in. The difference is the project-based learning. Spa's project-based learning makes it a lot easier to learn things because instead of just hearing about it and then maybe doing works on it, you're like doing your own research on it. And the students really a lot of time doing the discussion. We have a lot of community involvement. Uh, we got in touch with Pitney Meadows for their new children's greenhouse. The connections to the community, um, the trips around the world. I heard about the Italy trip, Costa Rica. It really makes us practice our public speaking, hearing other people's opinions on the topic, and then being able to further grow your own opinions based on those opinions. Spot community, it's a very tight-knit group. Really great community. You spend a lot of your time here, a lot more than you would imagine. Uh, you get really close with people, you can work well with them after a while. Or if you already know them or you're going with friends, it makes it even better.